Hugo is what I use for my static site generator. So everything you see on ChrisTitus.com uh, over here. Oh, geez. I never added my thumbnail. Oh, epic fail. Well, anyways, this was all, this is all Hugo. Everything, everything you see. Hey, there's, there's me. Um, this is actually not. That's cttstore.com, which is kind of funny. And then the main site is actually uh, Hugo. I probably am going to remove that. I'll just do home download sections. And then we'll just do like Linux section, uh, a window section. And yeah, that'll be good. Networking. Okay. This is, this is actually the guide. If you're interested in how I've set all this up, here you go. Uh, this kind of shows you all the basic commands. Everything's done locally into a Git repository, and then it's synced through. You, you can use Netlify, and Netlify is great for like low traffic sites. However, uh, I usually have or use utilize. I think this last month was like two terabytes of bandwidth, and that would have cost me three hundred dollars a month on Netlify, <laughs> thereabouts. So Netlify and me. Well, I like their services. My site just got so big that it's like, no way. <laughs> so right now I'm using Cloudflare pages, which offers a similar service, but free. So Cloudflare, until the gig's up there, yeah, it increased to two terabytes, goat. So I don't know what's happening there. I, like, I have a hard time believing that many people are use, utilizing my site. I... I mean, it is like a no nonsense website though. I mean, maybe people just miss, miss that, but I don't really post very much. Like November 9th was my last one and I forgot my thumbnail. What was I thinking there? Uh, let's fix that real fast actually, before we get too, too lost in the weeds here. Let's just pull up another windows terminal, shall we? Oh, I forgot my windows terminal launches as a uh, admin. Uh, let's go G website. Let's do a poll and I think we can just launch GIMP or no, we don't even need to launch. No, we do need GIMP to pull that in. So I'll show you an example commit to the website because we need to fix the thumbnail anyways. I just always have so much going on between live stream to YouTube to all the different channels and then my day job and I, I don't know. I get so ADD and then I've been playing games on top of that. I, I don't know. Family and kids. <laughs> uh, woe is me. There's no time. There's never enough time. Uh, I love it, though. Wouldn't trade it for the world. Uh, NeoVim Editor, I want to say. Which one is this? I think it was the NeoVim Journey would be... No. NeoVim Editor Perfection. That's it. So we'll just take this image... Let's scale it down to like 300, something manageable. And then we're going to just export this as a NeoVim editor, probably. Let's do Vim. Speaking of the perfect editor, we'd feel wrong to do this without a, a editor. Uh, my new editor. Yeah, that's it. So we're going to grab my new editor. Yank that. Come back over here. We're going to just drop this into our thumbnails and export, export. Great. So now we got our thumbnail set for this specific page. Everything should be good. Uh, let's test it. We'll just do a Hugo server. Uh, we don't even need any special development. So we'll serve it. Once the serve is operational, we can check it with localhost 1313. You can see that's perfect. Awesome sauce. So we've tested the site. And honestly, you could run this in the background as a server. And then as you're editing in real time, you could see the page adjust. So as you add thumbnails or, or uh, specific screenshots for your article, it would automatically adjust. As you add content and edit and save that page, it would automatically pop up. So if you have two monitors, you can really jam out articles like it's going out of style. So we're going to just put uh, YouTube thumb and that's done. So now if you would go to the website, give it like one or two minutes and ChrisTice.com will actually have a uh, 
something for the editor. And if we look here, if we go all the way to bottom, yeah, the YouTube video is already there. So apparently I, I added it all and I just totally spaced 